Yum, yum. Hey guys, Greg here from Pixel Fondue. I'm in a ranty mood. I'm gonna warn you, I may not post this video, but I've been frustrated with Moto's marketing lately or just complete lack of marketing by the Foundry. And I think they're really selling their product short. So I'm gonna just take a look at the Foundry website and I'm gonna compare it to the Cinema 4D website. I think that's an apt comparison, they're competitors. I'm gonna compare it to the Houdini website. Again, it's kind of a smaller company, kind of like Foundry. And I'm gonna compare it to my own garbage website, or I might, maybe, just for a comparison. Um, so let's take a look, foundry.com, enter. All right, we have Imagination Engineered. Okay, that's fine, nice little tagline. And that's a pretty cool image there, I guess. Maybe that's even made in Moto, maybe, I don't know. It's not from a movie or anything, but it's, I guess it's kind of cool looking. Um, and just a bunch of space on the side and way down here at the bottom. And I have a big monitor, right? You know, big ultra wide, like 1440 resolution up and down. And way down at the bottom, we see, I mean, way down, we got Nuke for a product. We've got uh, happy self-congratulatory 25 years of Foundry as a headline there. And then the show reel, okay? And so this is the landing page. And um, then we've got sort of the typical stuff up top, which we could take a look at in a second. Now let's take a look at Cinema 4D's landing page. Boom. That's the Cinema 4D landing page. Big, cool, freaking animated animation, obviously created in Cinema 4D right there in front of us with a watch now, what's new video, bam, right there. And, you know, the same type of stuff up top. Fine, I'm not going to be getting nitpicky about it. But this is what you presented with. Something really awesome right off the bat that okay let's look at the houdini boom you got this cool procedural houdini animation up top and stuff houdini is famous for and again what's new button right there so if i'm getting so I'll, I'll go through and hit these and uh yeah right and then again for comparison foundry pretty bland it's like they're selling white space <laughs> I'm going to show you my own garbage website, which I do not spend hardly any time on, on at all. It's on Squarespace. And I threw this together. It's been up there for years. I've had my company for over 20 years. But again, even mine, I've got animated stuff that I've done. I've got my animated seahorses here I did from Monterey Bay Aquarium at the top. It's been seen by lots of people. I've got my, you know, this is what I do. Product rendering, product tours, MOA videos, scientific animation. That's what I do. I got product rendering. I've got tons of product renders and... Tons of videos, and we'll get back to this. All of these made in Moto. All of these videos. All these, this shark, great white, swimming around. This is all Moto animation. Go to the Founder website, you wouldn't even know Moto does animation. But again, I'll, uh, Dolphin, and uh, whatever. I'll get back to this. But okay, again, so boom. So where's where's Moto here? Okay, so let's scroll down. Lots of white space. Okay, we've got Meet Mar and Moto 15. And then we've got even farther down, we've got Meet Our, our Customers. Okay, that's what we've got. And then we've got even more white space, Share the Love, and lots of gray space. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just sit here for a minute. So you got to go down. You got to even see Moto exists. You got to go down. Or I guess you have this see all products here and it goes to another page and it's right up top. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to complain about that. Or we can do products here. Okay, so we can get to it a couple of places, but you know, it's not exactly on the front page. Uh, and to be fair, Foundry has more than one product, but even Nuke like is just sort of at the best. They've got a position way down here in the lower left on a big monitor and a smaller monitor. You probably have to scroll to get that. Uh, so Houdini, let's, what happens if I hit watch now? You know, boom, right off the bat. Crank it up here. What you'd expect, right? Cool animation, just freaking awesome work. Uh, you know, we've got the credits down here. We've got people. Let me turn it down a little bit. You know, we've got good music going. We've got a lot of different companies. You know, they're showing motion graphics. So that's what they're famous for. That's the niche they carved out for themselves, all right? Let's uh, go back to Foundry, and here we do have a show reel. It looks like uh, a bird or a fish or something. What happens if I click this? Nothing. What happens if I drag down? Show me more. Okay, it 
took me to YouTube. So now I'm no longer on the Founder website. I'm on the YouTube website. It's playing Christmas music, or at least a track I associate with Christmas music, or I guess it's Disney music, or uh, Fantasia, or whatever. Okay, I picked up a little bit. Defaulting to 360p, come on, man. Okay, so we got some cool animation. We do have some credits here, so, so not too far off from Cine 4D, but Okay, oh, music sucks, man. I'm sorry. Christmas music or whatever. Um, but it's not like right there. It's take it's taking me to YouTube, so I got to go back to Foundry, and I had to like scroll down to find it. I I have to actually click Show Me More. There's no like, there's nothing like just boom right there up top. So not great, right? Same with Houdini. It's like boom. What's new? It's right here up top. And uh, again, more animated stuff. And like Houdini. Not as dynamic as Cinema 4Ds. But, yeah, it's got the reels right there. So let's see what we got. Okay, again, it doesn't take me away from the side. It doesn't take me to YouTube. Way better music. Everybody knows who does cool stuff. That's cool. I like that. All right, so, again, there's just a lot. It's just... Cooler, more impressive. All right, fine, fine, fine. So maybe the landing page isn't so great. Let's look at, uh, okay, let's, uh, okay. So I'm sure these are fantastic customers. We have Sam from Milk. We have Celine from, from MPC. We have Jason from MPC. So, and then it goes, <laughs> As it goes right, it goes back to the first guys. There's like, th meet our customers, all three of them, two of them from the same company. I'm, I come on, do better than this. Look at all the white space. Are you selling white space at Foundry? Is that what you sell? White space? Is that your main thing you're proud of at the Foundry? White space? Put some cool shit up there. Come on. Again, look at Cinema 4D. Let me scroll down here. Okay, there's this badass thing. Then we've got what's new here, probably a whole nother reel. So highly, you know, nicely produced. With a fresh look and a fantastic and start. Sort of, so he's going to go through and talk he's about the new stuff. The fine. That's part. fine. You got their scissor reel up top and they got their what's new video below. But again, this is like, okay, they took up most of the page here with the cool rendering. I've seen a million moto renderings just as good as this one. That's a beautiful rendering. Moto can do that. Where's the moto renderings? I mean, same thing, like uh, MoGraph is something there, again, that is going to be another kick-ass demo reel because this is, you know, what they're famous for, and they're going to put it right up top here. It's just a lot more dynamic. It's a lot more exciting. They're showing their renders. They're showing their product. You know, they've got tons of stuff here. Ah, okay. Let's go back to Foundry. Okay, let's lose these guys. Um, so let's click on, on Moto. Let's say I scroll down here and I find Moto and I click on, again, like none of this, but I click on Show Me More. And, you know, I get this web page, campaigns.foundry.com slash product slash Moto, blah, 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 what's new. So here's another thing. This is, a, this is, I guess this is the what's new page, the Moto 15 page, because if I back out, and go to, you know, if I click on products from here and go to Moto, it's it's a completely different web page. And this is foundry.com slash products Moto, right? Honestly, if I if I just let's just see what happens if I Google uh, Foundry Moto, what pops up? Moto flexible three D modeling software Foundry. Okay, is Moto just modeling software? I mean, I just got to ask because Moto, creative software for 3D modeling. Like I said, this is my website. This is all this stuff you see here is animated in Moto. It's rigged in Moto, has fantastic rigging capabilities that aren't in any other 3D program. This is animated in Moto. All of these are animated in Moto. It has fantastic animation. It has fantastic rendering. The shader tree is something in Moto that's not in any other 3D program. No other 3D program has anything like the shader tree. You can't do a rendering workflow in any program 
like Moto other than Moto. And, it, and it's arguably as good or better than any other program. I can make a whole video on that. The rendering workflow in Moto is fantastic. Shader Tree is fantastic. I'm guessing it's, it's. I, I, I'll, I'll bet you <laughs> that it's not even mentioned anywhere on here. Okay, so anyway, so we'll just go to this one. Creative software for 3D modeling. Again, the white space. The Here's a little backpack. That's a cool backpack. I've seen that rendered before in all its glory. That's a great image. Let's look at Cinema 4D again. I mean, the, look at these cool big images and even this gallery here. Get inspired. Well, yeah, get inspired, right? View gallery. Like this is inspiring. Like this is way more inspiring than what are these little yellow icons? <laughs> Come on. Do better. Look at the white space. Are you using Squarespace at the foundry? I use Squarespace and I can somehow fill up my freaking crappy website with images more than uh, Foundry can. Like whatever. Here's like a billion images, right? What like these are product images? It's something Foundry does well. This is something Moto does well. This animation right here. This was all done in Moto, right? Moto can load SolidWorks files. That's something no other program can do out of the box. I'm pretty sure this is like a technical SolidWorks file loaded into Moto with no plugins or anything, animated in Moto, rendered in in, in Octane. Actually, this is rendered in Octane, which is a Moto is a great platform from Octane, one of the most popular rendering programs on the planet. You wouldn't know that Moto could do something like this if you're here looking at Moto, creative software for 3D modeling and white space. So look at this image right here. Like, I'm not going to disparage the artist who made that image. I'm sure, I don't know who made it, but I'm sure they're a fantastic artist. Like, like what the hell is that blue blob? I mean, come on. There is tons of fantastic work done with Moto. There, there's a Moto art at this Cinema 4D page here. Let me just go back. Like, Moto can do this. Moto can do this. Run a contest. There is nothing in this kick-ass animation that can't be done in Moto. You know, and and we've got this blue blob just sitting there. I don't get it. Like, this is what I'm talking about marketing the program. You have a great program. You wouldn't know you're short selling it on your own website. It doesn't just do modeling. It has rigging features other programs don't have. It has fantastic rendering workflow features and rendering features other programs don't have. <sighs> all right. The UI is is still like, even with all the other programs stealing stuff from Moto's UI for the last 10 years, it still arguably has the best UI of any program out there. It's fantastic. And you're not selling it. You're giving us weird stuff. Yeah, and so let me let me take this a just. I'm going to take this a step further. I didn't actually want to do this, but let's let's look at Foundry's Twitter feed. Okay, so here we are on Foundry's Twitter. The Foundry team. We've got uh, okay VFX artist podcast. Let's just kind of go here and see what we got tweet wise. Okay, we got some awards. We've got. Some nuke. We've got a dog made with nuke and Mari. We've got something about another podcast. We've got more nuke. We've got another podcast. We've got more nuke. We've got more nuke. We've got and great nuke is I know the nuke is their main program. Fine, but I'm I've already gone back over ten days here. Not a single this is November nineteenth. Today's the thirty years or well. 20, 30th, I guess. So over 11 days, I haven't seen a single Moto post. More awards. You would think, like, like I know you like your awards foundry, but the whole were Hollywood is just... Uh, it's not um, appealing to a lot of people. I, I don't know. I know you think... I don't know how to say this. Like, the whole, hey, look, we did something and somebody in Hollywood knows who we are is just... It gets... I'm not disparaging work done for the film industry. I understand that that's most of your products. It makes me wonder why you bought Moto, to be honest. I, I don't understand why you bought it. I don't understand what you're doing with it. You're not marketing it at all. But for a lot of Moto users, with most of them, you know, not seeing the program that they've hitched their wagon to for their career being promoted at all, and it's just an, just endless, like, hey, look at us at this award ceremony. It's... it. 
it's a bit of a turnoff, right? I, I don't know how else to put it. And it, I'm not trying to disparage the Nuke team. Obviously, they're world class, and you know, here's more award, <laughs> more award stuff. And it just seems like that's that's all the promotion is coming out is about look at the awards we got. But you know, promote your community a little bit. Um, Mari Katana made with Nuke, made with Mari, and some other 3D program not Moto. Made with Mari and not some not some other 3D program not Moto. Honestly, like before I get back here, like, so I look at Mari and Moto, and I think, you know, Moto has been under the foundry for, like, I don't know, it's got to be like seven or eight years now. And there's no technology for Mari. It appears to have made it into Moto. Moto's painting system is seven or eight years old now. Nothing from Nuke has made it into Moto, as far as I can tell. Nothing for Katana. You've got this big push for USD and uh, uh, Hydra and that type of stuff. And then, I just never see Moto mentioned in the same breath as this whole initiative you're doing with your other programs. And I don't get it. I don't know why you bought it, but you did. You bought it. So promote it. And with this, again, I've gone back number 15th. That's 15 days. Uh, again, no Moto promotion. Nuke, Nuke, Mari. And do you really sell that much Mari? I'm just like kind of doubt it. Uh, more Nuke. Mari. Oh, oh, there's a shoe. Got to be Moto. So I guess that brings me to this. You know, this is November 10th. Uh, maybe there's another Moto tweet in here somewhere, but that was 20 days ago. Let me just look over at Pixel Fondue. And yes, I do Pixel Fondue, but Pixel Fondue isn't my job. Sabretooth Productions is my job. Pixel Fondue is just something I do on the side. We promote, you know, we, we do training and we do Moto stuff. So here I've got, a, you know, it doesn't, doesn't take long to just go up in the morning and do a quick tweet. Here's a guy who used Moto for, for Dune, for uh, production, uh, pre-production work on Dune. And here's, you know, a kit that was released for Moto. Maybe you could promote that. You know, it'd be nice to promote the what little developers we have. You know, here's something for uh, Deathloop, game of the year, up for game of the year, done in Moto. Promote that, maybe. Um, you know, there's just, there's a bunch of stuff like this and, uh, oh, who's that? And there's a bunch of stuff like this. It doesn't take long. Like this isn't my job. I get up in the morning, I come to work, I'm drinking my coffee. I'm like, okay, I'll send out a couple of pixel fondue tweets, go to art station, type in moto. Here's something cool. Oh, Dune. Wow. Just saw that. Looks great. That's a big time production. They're using moto. At least, at least two different artists were using moto at the Weta art department, you know, tweeted it out. Copy the link. Promote the software. You're selling the software. Sell it. Promote it. Market it. I don't get it. You know, I don't think I need to go through this anymore. But, you know, this is how you promote software. This is how you sell software. This is how you market software. This is how you do a website. They do a fantastic job. And they're kicking your ass. Cinema 4D was not a behemoth when Moto was released. But they certainly did something right. And I don't know what's going on with Moto. But it's frustrating because I know the developers are working hard. The program's gotten better. It's gotten a lot better. It's a fantastic program. And it's 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 definitely the best software for the work that I do, which is primarily product rendering, product animations, and things like that. I'm smack in the middle of Silicon Valley. I do a ton of medical and technology product stuff. You can load SolidWorks files natively. You have a fantastic rendering engine. You can rig stuff. You can do a bunch of things. I don't model at all. I get CAD files and there's vast amounts of that type of work out there. And Moto is arguably the best program for it. And there's nothing on the website about this. There's no tweets about this. There's no marketing about this. There's no interviews with companies that use Moto. It's frustrating. And, and individual artists and companies have hitched their wagon to this software. You can't just snap your fingers and switch to cinema or Houdini or whatever, or Blender or whatever. And I know Blender is probably a thorn in your side, but they exist. Deal with them. Don't just seed like your market to them, you know, come out swinging. I think I've ran it enough. You know, one of the problems is you know, we have a good relationship. I have a good relationship with Moto developers, uh, Moto product managers, known these guys for a long time. And obviously with Pixel Fondue, I've put plenty of effort into promoting Moto. 
but that's not being reciprocated. This, you're a visual effects company. Your website looks like it was done on Squarespace and it might have, actually it's worse because my website was done on Squarespace and my website arguably looks better than your website. All right. So if I can tweet, you can tweet. Whoever does the tweeting at Foundry. It doesn't take much time and you're not busier than me. I'm running this whole animation company on top of doing Pixel Fondue and doing tons of training. I've just uploaded another free video tonight. You guys got to do better. Don't just give up. Don't just seed the ground of a general purpose 3D app to everybody else. You've got a great program. You have dedicated devs. Spend a couple bucks in the marketing of this program. Spend some time in the marketing of this program. I didn't have to spend money. Just spend some time. It's frustrating because we're not seeing anything. And if it was easy to switch to another DCC, I think... People would do it because this is looking like a dead end program because of the lack of effort from the foundry. Tough love. Sorry. Oh my God, I need to go to bed. This went on way too long. I don't know if I'm going to post this. If you've gotten this far, then I posted this. Probably shouldn't have posted this. Yum, yum.